This video is brought to you by the lovely sponsors below. Thank you so much for your support. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome fellow masters. My name is Musaki and I'm here just with a quick update on some news that was released last night. So as you can see on your screen, the Guardian of Sinners Ryugi Shiki Rake Up Quest has been added because February 17th is actually Ryugi Shiki's birthday. So they decided to actually add these Rank Up Quests for Ryogi Shiki Assassin and Void Shiki Saber. Now these two upgrades are not for nothing. These actually take these two servants to a whole new level. But let's go start with Ryuki Shiki Saber. Or Void Saber as I've been calling. The Rank Up Quest is actually a strengthening for her Noble Phantasm. And it actually changes to increasing the amount of damage the Noble Phantasm does. And mind you, it is defense ignoring damage. And actually increases Noble Phantasm Gauge for all allies. So this actually increases her use ability and actually makes her a lot better as I mentioned in that Saber tier list. I know a lot of you guys seem to not like Saber Shiki but trust me she actually has the skills to pay the bill. As you can see here we have Saber Shiki's Noble Phantasm. We have to see the exact number of her Noble Phantasm damage starting at 450% to 755%, which is pretty normal for an Arts AoE Noble Phantasm. Also, please note, the Moving Party debuff is pretty good, and that chance of an instant kill is useful at times, unless you're trying to loop. We all know that doesn't help, but hey, I consider this to be pretty good when you're trying to deal with annoying enemy. Now, what the rank up does actually increases that damage to 600% at Noble Phantasm 1. That's an increase of around 150%, putting it almost at max damage. In fact, actually at Noble Phantasm level 2, that's actually the max damage for the previous Noble Phantasm. So that's actually pretty good, useful if you have multiple copies. If not, just the one copy, you still give them a lot of benefit here. And again, because that's been increased, remember that ignores the press of buffs. And increasing the party gauge by 10% does actually add up, especially considering that she is arch base. Now, we head over to one of our favorite assassins, one of the top five best welfare servants in this game, Yogi Shiki Assassin. Her Noble Phantasm also gets an upgrade. And once again, increasing the amount of damage that her defense, ignoring Noble Phantasm, does and also adds that it decreases defenses for three turns for single enemy so if that enemy for some reason still lives they're gonna take a lot more damage after that and that's gonna be pretty good and here we have Ryuki Shiki Assassin's Noble Phantasm and as you see for single target damage it is way more we already know that there will be way more for Noble Phantasm 1 but if you participate in this event you already have her in Noble Phantasm 5 so, you're getting the most amount of damage here, and that again ignores defense and has a 100% chance of death chance to proc. Now again, just because it's a 100% death chance doesn't mean there's an absolute guarantee to kill an opponent because that have to go against the death resistance of the enemy. But, this does help again if you're dealing with troublesome foes and you just need this one enemy to die. Now with this rank up that she is getting, it increases the damage to 12,000%. Do you see that? It literally just ranks her up. So normally she's doing Noble Phantasm 2 damage and Noble Phantasm 1, but as I said before, if you completed the event, you're going to have them already at this 1,800% with a 20% reduction to their defense. So now, this is if you're dealing against a hard, hard fought enemy, you're going to be doing way more damage overall, and with her being arched, you have an easier chance to loop her, especially because he has her own sort of battery and arch performance increase. So this is just amazing and wonderful for her. So once again, if you have Ryuki Shiki Saber or Ryuki Shiki Assassin, this is a very good upgrade that you want to take advantage of. A wonderful birthday gift from FGONA and DW. Alright guys, and one more thing before we go, because the Faith Extra CCC Seraph Event Rerun is happening at the same time, happening on the 17th. So, you're going to want to get ready for this. We already have a new guide in preparation in the works, 
being made right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to the previous video because that video still has some helpful information. And yes, for those who don't like the skits, there are timestamps there, so don't worry. Just go to the spot that you want the info on and you'll get the information that you need. A couple a couple things I want to talk about too for the event, now that isn't necessarily properly covered in the guide, is that they do have this detour quest here. And this quest is gonna be the ultra high difficulty challenge quest. Um, it's not like a normal challenge quest, it's going to be a series of quests and actually a bonus story that connects the new unit, King Protea, who is an alter ego, to this. You have to play this in the beginning at least to unlock it and then once you clear the main story, you'll have more things to do. And as you can see right here, the new spot is going to be right here on the map. Just look for that question mark after you reach a certain point in the story. I did mention this in that Clairvoyance EX video for the month, but they went ahead and they did add this. The strengthening quest for Nero Claudius, which turns her migraine skill into the Chalice of Wealth. Now, exactly what this does, it increases MP gauge added, increases Archive's effectiveness, went on a near water or city field for three turns. Now, this is amazing, if only for the near water or city field restriction. Um, thankfully, with CCC, they do consider that near water, because it is underwater. Uh, so you'll be able to get the most use out of this skill during the event, but otherwise it's um, unfortunate and not that great. But, hey, Nero's getting some love. So go ahead and level up that skill when you have the opportunity. And lastly, you exchange rare random prisms, you get a chance to get this mystic code, which is memories of the far side of the moon based off of CCC's uniform. Now it's going to be worth 5 mana prisms for 1, but I definitely think it's worth it. Mystic Codes drastically change how you play this game, uh, so definitely grab it if you don't have it already, just to add to your arsenal and give you more options and flexibility when you're playing the game. Plus, looks pretty good, in my opinion. Last thing in this event, just remember, if you still need to farm for mirrors, you have a chance to actually farm for mirrors in Pseudo Singularity Shimosa. So go ahead, remember this, if you clear Shimosa, there should be a new point that you'll be able to farm these mirrors. Take advantage of that, and because there's going to be a lot of servants <laughs> that need these mirrors. Alright guys, that's going to be it for me today. If you like what's going on, definitely leave a comment down below, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell if you want to see more videos coming up. As I said, we have a new CCC video being made featuring um, someone that did not get much attention last year uh, that you may want, especially if you're of the Ada Ada persuasion. Now then, my name is Musaki from Gadi Gurus, and we're logging out. See ya.